Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel Today I was not planning a vlogging It is actually around 11am and I was really not thinking I was gonna vlog or record anything today because I I don't feel on my best right now. I've had a few rough days with like peaks of anxiety and um, it hasn't been fun. And I'm thinking it might have to also do with the fact that I'm not sleeping well, I haven't slept well in a couple of months and that's really affecting my mental health as well and because I can't think of anything that is going wrong right now in my life so I don't know what it is but um, Monday night I had to call today's Thursday and Monday night I had to I had to call my mom and tell her to come here because I was like I couldn't stop crying I couldn't breathe I called my boyfriend as well and my mom ended up staying here with me I had a rough night because again my neighbor wouldn't stay quiet he would just walk around and drop things and if you don't know what I'm talking about I have a really difficult neighbor and situation is just a really hard at this point and the manager I don't know if he just doesn't care but I'm I'm really struggling and like it's really affecting my health but anyways and I thought why not let's just vlog a little bit and let's get myself out of this like bad moment because I'm just feeling like super anxious and like stressed and I react with anything it's just a weird feeling if I, I don't even know how to explain it but last night I stayed at my boyfriend's and tonight I'm sleeping by myself. Like I don't want to keep bothering people around me about this. I just feel anxious and I just feel like it is becoming worse because of the lack of sleep. But not necessarily like the neighbor is the cause of my anxiety because it's not like I suffer from anxiety and that's how it is. So anyways, I thought I wanted to get myself out of this like bad moment and get myself into a more positive mindset and, and do things that I actually enjoy and love and um, I thought why not let's just bring you guys with me and show you things that actually make me happy because I know I always try to be really positive here but there are moments where life is not perfect and that's completely normal because we tend to show just the positive and pretty parts of our lives and it's not a hundred percent like that it's not even probably like 70 percent like that um there are a lot of rough times but those times teach us or like make us value the good times a lot more anyways this is gonna be a really weird vlog but i wanted to bring you guys with me i am currently finishing some stuff because i just posted a new video on this channel today so um i'm just like making sure the comments are good and everything. If you are here, please leave a comment on what type of videos you'd like to watch and what type of content you enjoy the most because I really appreciate that. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. I'm trying to grow more, like I'm trying to grow this channel because I have a channel in Spanish as well and that one's bigger, but I want to connect with people in the US as well and just around the world in general. I feel like speaking English opens you more doors around the world. Like my Spanish channel opened me doors to like the whole Latin America and Spain and I love it so much. I love like seeing people and like meeting people and chatting with people from around the world. But I feel like also having a second channel with a second language can really help with that and meeting even more people. So, you know, if you're new here, just subscribe and like this video. And after that, I don't know if it was a rant or what it was, but now um, I'm wearing, okay, I'm a mess. I'm wearing these shorts. I have to, I have to shower still. So I'm sorry for my outfit, but um, yes, I just received a box from Target that I was waiting for because I... I love going to Target, but I don't get to go too often right now because I don't have a car and I don't have a Target near me really. So um, I ordered a few stuff that I needed that I mainly get at Target. So let me show you real quick. Okay, first I got <laughs> some um, dish soap because I needed more. And I got rice vinegar. This I'm very excited about because I want to make um, 
pickled ginger like the ones they serve you when you have sushi at a restaurant i love ginger and i really wanted to try and make it like that so we'll see how that goes and i got some tates uh gluten-free cookies which are my favorite i love 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 those then i got some harina pan which is venezuelan flour corn flour and it is the best for arepas and every venezuelan house has this so i got some of that um, they don't have it at my local target so i had to order it online anyways and then i got some ziploc bags which i didn't want to get because if you follow me you know i have this reusable plastic or like silicone bags but there are things i can't use them for so until i find a better option i did get a box of these <sighs> but i'm really annoyed by myself for this i'm really trying to find a solution for one like single time use plastic like this and i thought i did with the reusable bags but there are certain things i can't use them for and then I got some Nutella, which I love with my waffles. And my favorite, a purely Elizabeth granola, the original one. So yeah, this was my Target <laughs> box. Not too exciting, just things I needed. So yeah. I just shower and I feel so refreshed. I feel like a good shower always helps you feel, I don't know, just more put together and ready for the day, even though I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. Just like showering. It's always really nice, even though my hair is really crazy. Um, I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. I use this one from Burst on my like everyday life. And then if I'm actually like going to the beach, I use something stronger because this is SPF 35. But this is what I use every day and I love it because it is a mineral sunscreen, but yet it doesn't leave you greasy and it's not too thick. So I really like it for like every day. Um, and you should use sunscreen even if you're staying indoors because still like the blue light from your screen is not the best for your skin and sometimes I go walk around my apartment like uh, after being on my computer so it's just good to have some sunscreen and I know everyone online says the same thing, but actually like my dermatologist told me the same thing. It's just like, no, you definitely need to use sunscreen every single day. So that's what I'm doing right now. And since I'm staying home, I like to wear socks and I'm wearing my friend's socks, which were a gift from a friend. And she gave me like a whole pack of socks friends themed because I love everything and anything friends related. So now that I feel a lot better, I will keep doing some stuff on my computer and then I'm going to make some lunch. I don't know. I feel like I showed this recipe and it's not even a recipe, but I feel like I showed this meal like all the time on Instagram. And I don't know if I've shown it here, but it's just like rice with some smoked salmon, um, avocado and coconut aminos. And that's it and it is so delicious so that's gonna be my lunch today and I'll show you guys in a little bit my issues are nauseating I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me see something to open my eyes don't want to be the only one with the house key and for dessert we are having these amazing dark chocolate copper pretzels from Trader Joe's they are delicious if you haven't tried this please go and do I today am indulging myself with anything I want because I'm trying to put myself in a better mood so I don't have a lot though but I'll only eat three so I definitely have plenty three or four never know but these are so so delicious mm. I feel like I have chocolate everywhere but I just received two wait a second okay I just received two Amazon packages so we're gonna open them um, actually, let me put my glasses on because I need to see what I'm doing, especially if I have scissors in my hands, you know, we have to be safe. You already know I've been trying to only buy things I truly need, so I know it feels like I've got a bunch of stuff, but I mean, I just moved in two months ago, so it's been 
a lot of shopping, but today I received more food actually. Um, this coffee, which I really like. I don't know why they sell it on Amazon and it is Seattle's best coffee decaf, like their decaf version. I don't buy the pot. I don't have a Keurig or a Nespresso, so I just buy the coffee like this and put it in a regular coffee machine. So I'm really excited about this coffee. I thought I was going to get it like next week. That's what Amazon said because I don't have Amazon Prime. So it always takes a little longer for me to get stuff, but I usually don't care. I don't feel like I need it myself because I don't order as many things. And when I do, I don't care waiting for like a week. So yes, and I got, okay, this I'm very excited about. They said it was gonna arrive on Monday, but it did arrive earlier. And it is this little uh, replacement, like reusable, reusable replacement for my Swiffer. I got two of these already, but I use both of them every week when I clean my floors. So since I don't wash, like I don't wash all my cloths and cleaning stuff every week, because um, there's not a lot of like stuff and I don't like to mix them with the rest of my clothes, I decided I needed two more, so I have enough for two weeks of cleaning. And these are really, really good. They're just like the disposable ones, just like reusable. So this is just uh, cleaning stuff, which is not very exciting, but I ordered these shoes. I'm gonna link them below if they look fine. Um, these shoes from Amazon, because I needed sandals. No, they definitely sent them in the wrong size. Oh my God, I've been returning so many things on Amazon. I don't know where it is, but they just keep sending the wrong stuff. God, I love them. These are, these are so pretty. Like, this is very trendy, like the braided type of thing. But they sent them in a 40, and I ordered 38. I'm not a 40, there's no way this will fit me, even with socks. Let's try them with the socks on. Okay, this look huge, and these are a 40, and I'm usually 37 and a half to 38. Oh no, these are definitely really big. Okay, I'll have to return this. Well, this is very sad, because I was very excited about the sandals. I think they're cute. I think they are really, really pretty. Um, but this is also really, really big. Well, see, this is what happens when you buy from stores that only have six reviews. I usually buy, like I try to, buy from Amazon stores that have more reviews, but sometimes I'm like, well, I'm gonna give them an opportunity, I'm gonna give them a chance, you know, and, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. This is not cool at all. Wrong item was sent. Well, I don't know if I should get a, a replacement or just a refund, because if I do the replacement, I don't know if they'll send me a 40 against instead of a 38 shoe. I'm scared because it says replace with the exact same item and I don't want the exact same. I just want the right size. Well, let's try, you know. Oh, and now they say they're going to arrive on July 19th. It's going to take forever. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm sorry. I'm just here complaining about first world uh, problems. It is what it is. I'm sad. I like them. I like the quality. I'll link them below anyways in case you're curious of the sandals I got. Um, Hopefully, I get the right size next time because I think they're cute. I, I like them. So, we'll see. I think I'm done for the day and I wanted to... Okay, honestly, I didn't want to, but I am going to go on a walk um, just like around the area. Um, because I feel like, even though I walked this morning to my place from Greg's place, I feel like I need to walk a little bit more to be outside, to like, I don't know, just get outside of my apartment, even though I don't want to. I just, I don't know, I feel like I have to. I feel like that might help me feel a little better. I've been trying to trick my brain into thinking that I am okay, that I'm feeling great, that everything's fine. And even though everything is fine, I still don't feel okay at all. I don't want to talk to anyone. And at the same time, I really do need to talk to someone I love. I would love for my mom to be able to stay here again, but I have to be an adult and face things myself. So I'm going to go 
walk by myself i'm gonna take my earphones and probably listen to a podcast or something and then i'm gonna come back and make some dinner and that is the plan for the rest of the day and i'm i'm honestly concerned because mr heavy steps upstairs hasn't wake up yet and it is almost 6 p.m and he hasn't been awake in all days which means he's gonna be very very active tonight um, I was taking melatonin uh, for sleeping, but I already took it like over six weeks, so I can't keep taking that. And uh, valerian root hurts my stomach and gives me like makes me have really bad nightmares. So yep, no more medicine for me, and I am not happy about that because I I don't like taking medicine, but I need it right now because it doesn't help that this guy is so loud. So. I know it's gonna be a rough night and that makes me feel very, very anxious already, which is not good. But for now, let's focus on the present. Let's focus on the now. And right now everything's great and I am going to go on a walk and enjoy the nice Californian weather. Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around. But my life is so complicated. I don't want to bring you down. But I just want to be free from the freak. And feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in my dreams. Hello, guys. Um, I pick up the camera very late. It is almost 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure. 2.15 p.m. on a Friday. I was just having a call a few minutes ago and now I wanted to pick up the camera because I forgot to record this morning after I did yoga. I took a shower, I spent some time reading while I was having breakfast, and then I've just spent the whole day in my computer. So that has been my day. Last night I got to sleep around five hours, which is not ideal. It's definitely not enough, but it is better than two to three hours, which is what it's going on most nights. So that's good news. And then I have lunch and now I'm just gonna keep doing stuff on my computer. I'm actually doing a backup of my computer on Time Machine right now. I highly recommend having a Time Machine because it can save you a lot of problems. Like if your computer goes crazy and I don't know, something happens, it's good to have a backup. So I had to clean today, which I haven't done, but I'm trying to... So usually my cleaning and laundry days are Fridays and Greg would tell me like, why does it have to be on Fridays? Like, why can't you do any other day? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You can like, whatever. And I was like thinking about it and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to break my schedule a little bit. So I will not do laundry today. I'm going to do it on Monday or Tuesday but I definitely need to clean a little bit more. Also, I have an ants problem and I, I don't know what to do. Um, so right now they're just going into my, this is kind of gross, but they're going into my um, trash can in the bathroom. And I wonder what it is because I don't put any food in there. I just don't throw my papers, like toilet paper and uh, uh, toilet because I don't feel like the toilet is really good or the pipes. So I feel like it, it's not a good idea to throw paper in there. So I don't, but now I have a bunch of ants coming into my trash can and I put some like uh, ant killer product in the trash can on Monday and they disappeared like the day after and I was like, okay, it's done. And then this morning was still perfect and like at 12, I went back to the bathroom and the trash can was full of ants again. And I don't know what it is because it never happened before. And again, there's no food in there. So it's kind of concerning and disgusting, but that's what's going on. There are a lot of ants 
in this building and I feel like it's a problem that comes from upstairs as well but I don't know I don't want to judge but yeah um there's a lot of ants so I have like ant traps everywhere and I don't know I feel like it's something I'll have to deal with at least for the whole summer because ants go crazy during the summer anyways I'm just wasting time here um i don't know what i will do for the rest of the day i don't know if i will see greg because um, i usually only stay with him one night of the weekend well the camera stopped recording which i think it's a very clear sign that i've been talking for too long and i should get back to my computer work and yes i was just saying i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if the vlog's gonna end today or not because i have no idea what's going on with my life but uh, I feel it better. There's an update. I still feel like I definitely need to talk to someone and I need some love and hug right now and cry and cry and cry. But I feel better, which is good. I think last night was really nice just like watching friends and drinking some tea and this morning doing yoga and like forcing myself to do things for myself. That was really nice. So I'm feeling better. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing some stuff and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, let's close this video with something fun with the last moment of my taking care of myself days. And I'll show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's this week. You know, Trader Joe's is like my favorite place in the world. I got four bananas because they always go bad. So I'd rather get less now. So I got four bananas and I also got two nectarines. I love nectarines. Like I love this season, the summer season because I get to eat all of them and i love them and i also got one avocado and raspberries sweet figs which i don't know if i can eat with my ibs but we'll figure it out because i have to stop because i have to start like re including stuff in my diet so we'll try with that this week and we're also going to try with asparagus because i love asparagus it's one of my favorite vegetables but i was not able to eat it during the elimination phase of the diet but since I'm pretty under control right now, I think trying asparagus will be good. Hopefully they're fine. And I also got some tomatoes. I got some ginger, because remember I told you I want to try to make pickled ginger. And a cucumber. And some gluten-free waffles. I also got these Caprice ravioli with organic tomatoes, basil, and a three cheese blend, which I've never tried before. And hopefully they're good. I just need like quick, easy meals. And I got some chicken for this week, which I haven't done in like a month and a half. I haven't cooked any chicken. And some blend of seafood. So it has shrimps and calamari rings and scallops. So this should be really good. I got some peppermint tea, which this is the one I drink or the one I'm drinking right now. But, and I never tried a Trader Joe's one, but hopefully it is good. So I got some of that. I got coconut milk for the chicken. I'm gonna make a coconut milk chicken. If you want the recipe, it's actually on my TikTok. It's super simple and it has ginger and lime. Crap, I don't have lime. Well, I have to get limes. And some brown rice and mitli for the seafood. I think that would be good. It's a recipe I'm stealing from my brother-in-law who cooks amazing. Lactose-free milk for my tummy because that I can't have. I can't have a lot of milk. Other lactose products are good in like smaller amounts, but milk is not okay for me. And we got some of the best cookies. Please try these. These are the quadratinis or quadratinis, I don't know, dark chocolate waffles. They are the best thing ever and they're addictive, so be careful, but they're really, really good. And some sourdough bread which I can eat as well. So this is what I got today and that was a total of $58 and I think it was good because I got seafood, I got chicken, so I got a few stuff that are more expensive. But yeah, that's going to be my food for the week and um, 
let me organize this and I'll get back to you in a second. Well, I think that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My mom actually just got here, so I'm gonna spend a day with her. And tomorrow is my sister-in-law's birthday, so we're gonna go there. So it's gonna be a family weekend. So yeah, I don't vlog when I'm with my family because they don't really like it. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for being with me. I am definitely feeling better now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Out of mind, out of mind.